Brody Vigier here. Today I'm going to show you how I motorized my LEGO A320 engine. So, yeah. Let's get into the video. So, this is the A320 engine. And actually, I'm going to flip the camera over so you can see. Alright, you should be able to see a bit better. Um, so, here's the engine. And... There's a fan blade in there right now, and you know, based on the title of the video that I did motorize the engine, you can see the wire coming off the motor in there, and I'm going to show you how if you want to motorize your own engines, so, okay. So first of all, you need a battery box, and I'm using the AAA battery box that just turns it off, on and off with this button right here, and you can switch directions with this little switch thing right there um yeah so it fits pretty nice in there you need a good space i use mine between the landing gear hatches i don't know what you want to do so then if you want to use a remote control good um if you want to just connect engine straight away okay but i like to use a remote control so for that i'm gonna need an ir receiver so this is an ir receiver and it receives the radio waves, and that little switch right there is to control the number of channels. Right now, I only have one channel because I don't have two battery boxes. So pretty much, you just want to um, select how many battery boxes you have. So I have one, so it's set to one right now. This IR receiver basically receives the radio waves emitted from the controller. So you're going to want to hook that up to the battery box. Now, there are two channels on this IR receiver. And I connected two motors to it for the both engines. And one motor is over here. You can see that. And the other motor is inside this engine. And um, maybe in a different video I'll show you how I got the end of the motor in there. And what it looks like. But yeah. I'll show you from the behind now. So there's the motor. You can kind of see how it just fits in there nicely. Um, and you probably want to see the part that you've been waiting for right now, which is how it works. So, make sure you have batteries. Uh, this one requires six AAAs, and the controller right here requires three AAAs. So, make sure you have those or it won't work. Um, also make sure your the battery box is turned on, uh, IR receiver is working properly, and make sure you have the number of channels in the IR receiver correct and on the remote control. So remote control right now, of course, I'm set it to one channels because I'm trying to emit to one IR receiver. And yeah. So let's get started. And so here's how to power on your engines. So first thing you want to do is turn on the power source. So press this green button on the battery box. And if your batteries are working correctly, you should have a green light right there. And if you don't, check your batteries or yeah because it's probably the batteries um it's very rare that it would be a faulty battery box but yeah okay so that is that and once you turn that on you should be getting a green light from your ir receiver if you're not your ir receiver is broken but that's also very rare so that's turned on you should get a green light and now you're ready to turn on your engines so grab your remote control and there are two channels on this one for each engine. So for this one, I don't know if you can hear that. I'll bring it to the mic here. I'm going to go ahead and put my camera on this tripod right here. Uh, flip it over. Flip it over. Now, I will show you this. So, here we go. So, this is the engine that right now is connected to this IR receiver right there. And I'm going to go grab my speed control. Here it is. And I'm going to grab my engine. And so for this engine, it's actually this dial right here. So you can just kind of turn it up. And so I need to. There. Do you see the engine is kind of turning? Can you just make it go faster? Should be able to hear that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hold it up to the mic. 
right there. Yep. Probably heard that. I hope you heard that because it was really cool. And so if you need to stop it for any reason at all, if you need to stop it, so it's still going right now, but if you need to stop it for any reason at all, maybe it's like m bumping something it shouldn't, then emergency stop button, this red one, and it'll stop immediately. And actually, if you wanted to turn it left, you just move it left. If you want to turn it right, you just do that. It's a direction changer, so it's pretty nice. Um, now, the part that you've actually been waiting for is that one. So this is the one where I will show you the engine and how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right here now and just... Okay, so here's the engine, and I'm going to clear some stuff from under it right now real quick, because it's kind of, okay, I'm just going to do a little test. Okay, so you probably all saw that, and yeah, I thought it was really cool, so. Here's the remote control, and here's the engine. So, I'm gonna click zoom in a little bit on that. And take you down some more, cause I think you wanna see the engine. So, here's the engine, and the motor's in there right now. So, here's this. And so for this motor, it's actually this one. So, yeah, it looks really good. You can just you can hear that it <laughs> sounds great emergency stop stop <laughs> okay there we go so emergency stop buttons sometimes you have to be pointing directly at the IR receiver it actually has like a length of I think it's like three to ten meters I think don't quote me on that I don't know Okay, um, actually no, it's, it's 30 inches, not, no, 30 feet, okay, yeah, so I'm just gonna, so, I'm just gonna go ahead and hold up to the mic, so, hopefully you can hear that, I don't know, there, yeah, so, emergency stop. There we go. So that is pretty much it. Um, yeah, I think it worked out pretty well. And I always remember when you're done, not to waste the battery. So, turn it off. There we go. Of course, I'm gonna connect my IR receiver somewhere else on this plane. I'm thinking about right here because we have a nice space there. And my motors are gonna go here and here. Cause I have a one right here for just waiting for my next engine. I actually received these parts yesterday, so I was really happy to work with them and figure something out. So, yeah. Um, thank you for watching. This has been a fun video to make. Um, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And bye for now.